We will be with you every step of the way on the road to Arizona. We begin in Pittsburgh at PPG Paints Arena, where the Wolfpack are getting ready to face off against Texas Tech. Chad joins us live there right now as State hopes to keep up that momentum that got them there. Chad, you know State is pumped and so are the fans. Oh yeah, just three and a half hours until tip off of a very important game here in Pittsburgh and NC State fans have really traveled in packs to get here to see just a glimpse of an improbable postseason run and they got quite the greeting when they did get here. Check out all of the uh, like the lobby of the hotel where the team and fans are staying. Red and white all over the place. Kind of really makes you feel like you're in Raleigh. Fans told us they're just excited to see what's become a historic season. We're so excited. The pack won five games in five days. Second team in history to ever do that. Those kids just played with heart. They didn't give up. And hopefully they'll do the same tonight. Burns and Horn. I think Diara. They're all, I think they're going to get it done. What is that to go to? We even met a guy who grew up in Greensboro. Tom Wrigley went to Smith High School and eventually NC State. Even though he lives up in Syracuse now, he hasn't lost his pride in the pack and even brought friends with him. Just what they did during that ACC tournament. I mean, uh, it, it's just like you, you're, you're praying to the basketball god, just give me this ACC championship, and that's all I'll ask for. But now, you know, <laughs> it's the more. NCAA gods <laughs> now, I guess, you know. Tonight's game tips off at 940 right here on WFMY. And don't be surprised if you see Wolfpack fans in their winter gear. Right now it's only 40 degrees. And by the time this game is over, we're expected to plunge well below freezing. But the hope is by that point, uh, the uh, NC State fans will be cheering too hard to even notice. Live in Pittsburgh, Chad Silver, WFMY News 2.